Hello, Rafting Creek. Today, we are going to talk about Pablo Picasso. Pablo Picasso was a Spanish painter, sculptor, who lived in France, regarded as the one of the most influential artists of the 20th century, and he helped to create the Cubist movement. Picasso's favorite thing to do was painting. In his paintings, Picasso used color as an expressive element, but relied on drawing lines rather than color to create form and space. This is The Kitchen, a painting by Picasso. Notice he used lines and colors to create this composition. And this is what we are going to do today. You will need a sheet of paper, a pencil, markers, colored pencils, and watercolor paint. Let's start. So I'm going to do a cityscape. I'm going to start with some straight lines. Now you don't have to do a cityscape. You can do anything you like. It can be a house, a farm, a food item, or it can be totally abstract with just lines. Okay, my lines are not completely straight and it doesn't matter because Pablo Picasso didn't have all straight lines. It's part of the effect of the painting. Now I'm starting my horizontal lines. I decided to do a window. Remember, this is just abstract. I'm doing some window panes. Now we are going to go over our drawing with a black marker. Now you don't have to use a black marker, you can use a dark crayon, a dark colored colored pencil, or maybe even black watercolor paint. Notice that I'm not in a hurry. I'm carefully tracing my lines in dark marker, doing my, hor my vertical lines first. Then I'm doing some horizontal lines. Remember that we are not in a hurry, tracing our lines very carefully. thicker than other lines for some variation. That means different thicknesses of lines. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm finishing up my composition with black marker. And now we're going to start doing some coloring. But first, we're going to erase our pencil lines with an eraser. Okay, if you see pencil lines that are coming from your marker lines, you can erase that to clean up your composition. Now we're going to do some watercolor paints to color in our composition. So we're going to start in any space you want. And I've chosen some blue. You can choose any color you like. Notice I'm doing very carefully. Remember, we are not in a rush. We want to do our best work. And here is some completed window panes that I painted in. I've also put some details. So remember the lines that we saw in Picasso's The Kitchen? He had certain patterns at the end of his lines. And here's our finished composition. 